Okay, you guys, so for the front suspension, do the same process to take off the tire. And then I already kind of took this apart, but there's a bolt right here. It's uh, this one right here, and it goes all the way through. It's number 18, and that will release this right here. And then there's the three bolts right here. These are number 13. One, two, and three. I already released two of them. And you don't want to release these till the end. So I could drop the whole thing. And then there's this one right here. It's uh, number 16. It's a nut. And that's for your sway bar link where it goes through. And the sway bar link, you got to take one of these right here and basically you hold the back right here you see it right there and then you, you're able to uh, release the nut on this side and that's how you get that off and basically I'm going to show you what I'm going to keep and what I'm not going to keep and another thing that I found out right now is that these sway bar links um, they're way too long so I'm going to have to get my hands on shorter ones Okay, so now we gotta release this nut right here. Uh, usually, you would use uh, spring compressors to uh, compress these springs right here. The spring. That way, when you release it, it doesn't fly out. But I've done this uh, a lot of times with uh, different cars, and this one doesn't look like it's gonna really fly out that far. It is gonna fly out, but. I'm not scared of it. So I don't have a number 20 for there. So I found out that, what is this? The seven eight fits in there. So basically put it in there, holding it with one leg and we'll release it. And I'll show you the kick this thing has to it. That's pretty much it. It's not a big deal to me. Um, so basically what we want to save out of here is this one is garbage because this is for uh, this spring. You don't want to use that. You're going to need this right here and this part right here. That's pretty much it. Oh and hold on. This pushing right here you don't need and you don't need this right here so let's go ahead and uh, put it together on the other on the coil over see what it looks like okay so for the new coil over so you can see it's got this piece right here and it looks like it's already mounted or whatever but you do need this piece because this one has the bolts that go through there that are going to mount onto your your top and your engine bay or engine compartment whatever you want to call it so let me go ahead and release this nut okay so release the nut what you want to do also, if this is going to help out, is you take your adjusters and you lower them all the way so you can have all the room you, you can to play. So just lower it for now, you'll adjust everything later once the car is, is down off the jacks. So I started out with gloves, but really couldn't work with them. Ended up taking them off. It's like 10 degrees outside right now. It's freaking cold. I'm doing this shit. Okay. So, hold on. 
So let me do this so you guys can see. You put this piece on here. It's gonna hold your springs in place. And if you push down, you see what I'm doing and uh, it gives me more room. So now I'm gonna put my other plate on here. And the net's gonna go in there. This one's uh, number 19. So let me push down. And get that nut going in there. Alright, it's going in nice and smooth now. Alright, so I'm gonna use my gun and tighten this bolt all the way and basically it just slips right into place into the other one you tighten everything up and there you go so it's put back together this thing is completely slammed in the front so I'm gonna have to adjust everything right now looks pretty cool and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get the sway bar links because obviously these are way too long. See where I can find them and adjust my suspension. And then we'll go from there. And this is another YouTube video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it.